Hello, my name's David, and in this video, we're going to add some snow to our text. Right, let's make a start by heading over to the Layers panel. Make sure your text layer is highlighted. We're now going to drop down to this icon, which is to add a pixel layer, and there's our pixel layer directly above our text layer. Next, under the Color panel, make sure you've got the default colors. Any other colors, press D on the keyboard to restore those default colors. To the toolbox, we're going to pick up the paintbrush, try pressing B on the keyboard, which is the shortcut. We're now going to come to the brush panel, brush panel not open, view, studio, it's right at the top. We're going to change this to our basic brushes, always tempted to go for a soft edge brush, but I find the hard edge brush, we can make a little bit of a change to this, works much better. I've got the 64 pixel. If we bring it out, I'm just going to use Command 1, Control 1 to go into 100% of the image using the space bar to move my way over. Right, the opacity, the flow, the hardness are all set to 100%. But we're going to change the hardness. We're going to take it down to 80%, just clicking off to remove that slider. The brush, just a little bit big. Using the left-hand square bracket, we can drop it down to size. Something like this would be pretty good. Right, I'm going to click right on the edge of the S, just going to move it up and down slightly. Don't paint just straight across, but give a little bit of variation. So just moving it around like this. There, that looks good. Just coming down the back of our S to that position. Let's come around here and just bring it up down over that part. Perhaps a little tip to our S just for a bit of fun and around the bottom that will do nicely. You'll be pleased to hear that I'm not going to be doing every single letter. OK, let's make it look as if the snow is beginning to drift off. Now, to do that, I'm going to pick up the smudge brush tool, which is in with the blur tool, the sharpening tool. There it is right down the bottom. But we need to change the brushes So over to the brush panel. I'm going to change it to pens. And with pens scrolling down to the bottom, it's the last but one. This is the brush we're going to use. Right, if I bring it out, bit big, left hand square bracket, we'll reduce it down in size to something about that size looks pretty good. Clicking down inside our snow area. So I'm going to click down, drag it down, doing it again, just to bring it off like this. You can come to a little one on the side of it and perhaps here. We got those little bulges coming out. That's ideal candidates for making the snow look as if it's drifting out. That looks pretty good like that. Just doing a few more here as well. Like that over the edge. Wanted to make this look as if it's coming off here and onto this area. Just doing a few more here. Just varying it some small, some big. Like that. Right. Just down on this part. Like that. I'm just going to quickly go over this. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, just pulling it down, clicking inside, pulling it down like that. Then just working my way around here, get my words right around this part. There, that'll do for now. Right, next, let's give it a little bit of relief from the text. Now to do that, don't forget we're on our pixel layer. I'm going to come down to the FX icon for our layer effects. We're going to go to bevel and emboss. Let's put a tick in the window and I've got type pillow. No, we're going to change this to emboss. That looks better. Radius, leaving this as it is. The angle, I'm going to take it up and it's the angle of the light in. And I want to make that look as if it's coming from the top from this sort of angle here. So I'm going to swing it round a little bit, just lifting it up into that area, just pulling it round very slightly. There it will do nicely, just perhaps a little bit off the edge. Great stuff. That looks really good. Well, apart from that black. Coming to shadow, we're going to click here. I'm going to come to color. And if we click, I'm using the color wheel. I much prefer to use this. I think it works really well because you can just swing it around. You get a little bit of an idea how it's going to look. You can change the color. I'm going to come to this sort of area. That color looks good. Just clicking off and coming to the opacity dropping the opacity down, something like this, and clicking close. Right, the good news is, still got the smudge brush tool. You can now come back to it 
and now when you do it that effect is now applying as well so when you go over the rest of the image you can see exactly how it's going to look one thing though this is just a little bit too much of a solid white color so what we're now going to do is we're going to drop down to live filter now with the live filter i'm going to come up to add noise and with add noise let's just lift this up i'm going to take the intensity up into this sort of region gaussian monochromatic it's worth trying it on the color and you can see it looks a little bit like the hundreds and thousands you know those cake decorations just going to drop it down into this area here experiment see what works for you with your monochromatic yeah i think i'll leave it like that or you can use the color i'm just going to click to accept that you'll be pleased to hear that i'm not going to do every single letter instead this is one I've prepared earlier. It's down to snapshots. I'm going to restore this version. So let's highlight it. Coming up to this icon here to restore snapshot. How quick and easy was that? I must be honest, I love using snapshots. Right, let's take a look. What have we got? We're well, coming up to the layer here with our snow. We can just about make it out. Always a good idea as well to name the layer. So let's call it uh, snow, which is exactly what's on there. Clicking on the little FX brings up the layers effects dialog box you can see those are the numbers i put in for the elevation looking at it i think i'd like to give it a little bit more with the radius just moving this across into that position that looks really good however getting a little bit of white ghost in coming to highlight let's click just going to reduce down the opacity and as we take the opacity down that ghost in effect disappears there that looks pretty good i'm now going to click close job done well there's our add noise just lifting this up you can see i put in 17 percent for the intensity gaussian and i use the monochromatic with that so there it is as i've always said save it in layers put it aside then you can look at it a couple of days later with fresh eyes make any adjustments but go on give it a try hope you've enjoyed the video give it thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe plenty more videos to come if you click that little bell icon you receive a notification every time a new video is posted but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care